What's good everyone, Raiden Yoshi here with another episode of Let's Play Yoshi's Island. Last time we beat 2-2 and 2-3, this episode we're going to jump into 2-4. But before I do that, I want to bring something to your attention. I want you to listen to the song for the map. Now we're going to work too. As we go through the game, you're going to notice more and more instruments are getting added to this song. I don't think that it did, took the instrument away like I thought it would when I went to World 1. But when we get to each world, an additional instrument gets added. And once you get to the world, last word of the game, like you'll hear the entire song. That'll be really cool when we get there. But that being said, let's jump to 2-4. I have like, just a minute of me dicking around with that. Bigger booze for it. All right, welcome to Bigger Boo's Fort. So this is where we're introduced to Boo's. These are, I think, the cutest inter iterations of Boo's. Look at them, shy. Look, hi, how are you doing? No, no, I'm shy. Hey, how are you? <laughs> I really like this version of Boo. I don't think there's a, such a thing as a bad version of Boo. But I do think these are one of Boo's cuter iterations. <laughs> That being said, we are going to be running through this level. So, <sighs> at this point, the game starts doing this thing where it's getting harder and harder to clear through the fortresses and stuff. So if you notice, I faced away from the booze and bounced the egg off the wall. By doing that, the egg ricochets and hits the booze. Where I was standing, a flower spawned and I auto-collected it because I was standing on that spot. Hit that red coin. We just missed that balloon, but we hit it this time. So we're kind of we're gonna have to kind of run through this area a couple times. This is like I guess the main hub area of this area. Shut up, I know I didn't like reusing the same words like multiple times. There's Gusty. I already mentioned that he looks like a thing that doesn't look child appropriate, but we're not going to talk about that. Alright, so what we want to do is we want to come over here, bounce his egg off the wall, bam, hit that, we get a key. Now we're going to run back this way. And, well, guys, no! Wait, what? Okay. Oh, I thought he exploded when he hit them. He didn't. He can well, guys. Uh, rolling enemies would just plow through other ones. I forget that. Shit. There's small interactions like that with stuff that I just blatantly forget. All right. Just gonna keep moving. In this room, we have a few red coins that we want to hit. Like down here. Could have thrown an egg at them, but I'd rather hold on to my eggs right now. I'm not gonna jump into the pipe just yet because more red coins there and flower. Because we need that flower power. That's like three flowers we've gotten so far. So, normally the game would want you to push that off the cliff. But if you're smart enough and react quick enough, you'll notice that you can actually get away with just standing on the edge of it and just ground pounding it rather than pushing it. So you should actually a lot of time because pushing stuff is really, really slow. That being said, we got a lot of stuff. We need four more uh, red coins. And one more. Damn it. Damn it. So long as we don't drop below 10, who cares? I'm actually going to see if I can show something off. So, since we hit the save point, I can afford to sacrifice a life. So, we're going to let this guy come all the way over to this pipe. And wait for it. No. No, 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 no. No, I need you to go back that way. We're gonna despawn him. And we're gonna respawn him. We wanna be standing. So, for what I'm trying to show off, you wanna be standing on him when you step through the pipe. And. Yep, there we go. We glitched the game. This is not what's supposed to happen here. And I'm actually on the verge of dying if I don't do this right. One, 
two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'll explain what happened in a moment, but this is just something I really wanted to show off. You can do this in a lot of levels in this game, actually. I'm gonna keep the flutter. Keep fluttering. Okay. We're getting... Oh, wait, did I do it? 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 Uh... No. Shit. Okay. <laughs> we died for that. Oh well, I wanted to sh I just really wanted to show that all. Um, so first of all, that's actually a speedrun trick. So, you can survive that, because... I guess... Okay, best way to explain it is Yoshi's Island has several different versions of a speedrun. My personal favorite being the 100% speedruns of it. But there's one which is, I believe, any percent warps. And basically what you can do is levels like this, like, you can find ways that allow you to warp out of the level like that. So, what essentially just happened is that threw us into level 1-1. Because what happened was we went through a pipe. All the pipes that we go through, where they send us is based on Yoshi's locate, um, the, um, what's it called? The spot that he's standing on the screen. So by standing on the little goo guy, we were standing in a different location than where the game expects us to be. Where the game is programmed to map us warping from. So, no, 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 no. Okay, that's fine. So long as we don't drop below 20, we're fine. So what happens is, the game, since we are going from a spot that it's not expecting us to, freaks out. So what we want to do actually here is break that and jump across here because we need to get back here. And go through this door. Alright. Oh, no, no, no. So, we got the flower there. We don't have to do anything else here. We can get more coins, but we got what we came for. Uh, what was I saying? So, because we, we went through the pipe at a different coordinates than what the game expected, we got warped to 1-1. And so, if we do our flutters correctly, we can actually make it to the gold ring of 1-1. And the cool thing is, everything in the game would have spawned that would normally be in 1-1 would have shown up. So, bit of 3D thing. This game did use the, um, what's it called? The Super FX chip that was just, that was created toward the end of the Super Nintendo's lifespan. Alright. Alright guys, it's time for us to take on the boss of this world. So, we saw Boo, we've met Big Boo. Oh yes, we have Baby Mario's twin brother at Bowser's castle, but we're not handing him over to the likes of you. And now, we're not fighting Big Boo, we're fighting... Bigger Boo. So Bigger Boo is a pretty easy fight. So just like regular Boo's, if you're facing him, he doesn't do anything. So what you want to do is you want to use the walls. So bounce eggs. And they will smack Big Boo. Only reason I moved around is to make sure I had enough space to get the bounces off in the right angles. Because last thing I would want is to get, miss them and take a hit. Because this is another fight where I take hits because I mess up. And that being said, we have... Successfully and easily made it through there. And now, that was 2-4. And now, we're at 2-5. Uh, sure, why not? We'll jump, we'll jump into 2-5 this video. I like to, for as long as I can, I do want to keep trying to get two levels an episode. It's the only thing I don't want, is I don't want to go past 20 minutes in a video here. So, I hate this level with a passion. Not because this level is particularly hard, because this level does shit that really fucks me up. Alright, so you notice the ground is all made up of this lovely material. Well, we need to be careful. That we don't hit down in the air. 
or else we'll fall to our deaths. <laughs> Because what happens is Yoshi can ground pound through this material. And since he can ground pound through it. Shit. Also, Lakitu can break it with his stuff. Okay, you know what? It's not worth it. We're just gonna keep it moving. And we have these stupid balance things. And this level is very nerve-wracking for me. It's not a hard level by any means, though. It's just... slightly terrifying. <sighs> awesome. So then, here's the thing the game does to you, because the game's rude. We want to break this, because it has a thing in it that we are actually going, we actually need the thing that's in this. So what does the game do? It puts it over the material that if we ground pound it, will fall to our deaths. So, we have to be smarter than this game, or I guess smarter than this game thinks we are. Um, three flowers left, 13 red coins. I don't think I'm missing anything. This is another level that I frequently don't miss stuff in. Or get hit at the very end of. So another Yoshi transformation being shown off here. Meet Train Yoshi. Because you know Yoshi's in training. I'm sorry, that joke is really bad. I, I'm bad and should feel bad. Alright, so we're going to keep scrolling up. Basically, we can ride these train tracks around the walls. I feel like I knew that there was no red coin there, but still followed that path anyway because I'm bad. Whatever. The little shy guys on the walls will chase us and try to hit us. When they hit us, they slow us down. So we're just gonna keep on moving. And get all of the cool stuff. And why do I think that there's a red coin over there, even though I don't think there is? There's not a red coin over there. I, I like, know it. I know there's not one. But I'm still gonna go all the way back here to check it. Because if I don't check it and I'm wrong, I'm gonna be pissed off. It's not a red coin here, is there? Nope. Yeah. I know there wasn't a red coin there, but... You know what? If I don't check it... Then I'll be the time that there is a red coin there, and I'm gonna get pissed off. And I'd rather not get pissed off. I'm just gonna keep it moving and just do it the right way. I know there is a way you can make it so that the shy guys technically can't catch you, but I don't remember how to do it, so we're not gonna worry about it. We're just gonna ignore the shy guys and juke them a little bit. Give them the Dippy Simmons, as my good friend would call it. God. I just love having my random jokes in my friend groups. Because that's like one that's like one of the best part of like being good friends with people. You have these random jokes that no one else quite understands. Yeah no, I had a feeling. There's like no right coins in this area. And I know that. But I'm still paranoid. Because I don't want to miss them. Alright, put the bubble and we should be good. Excellent. And we want to hit every coin because we're a paranoid piece of shit. <laughs> Alright. I really like this song. I really do like this song. This game's music is so, like, awesome in every way. Alright. So now this is going to be the part where I'm probably going to get a little bit annoyed. I might have to kill myself a few times here because I have a feeling I'm gonna miss stuff. Because I always do. So, let's see. If we do this right, it's hit that. Seed spawns. We need to jump up here. Ground pound once. 
ground pound twice. Do not ground pound the third time. Hit the switch. We need this so that we can jump high enough to get up there. Okay. We haven't messed up yet. It's good. It's always good. I forget if there's anything relevant up here, but we're gonna continue as if there is. too much left in here. I think this is just coin area. If there's nothing else in here, there's just a cool little secret. But just there's a part of me that remembers there being like a flower or something in here. I guess I'll remember it correctly. Cool little secret though. A lot of people don't know it's there. I didn't know it was there for years. Put this out, put some out right here. Right, make sure you grab that one. Okay. Okay. Be careful of these bushes. And I'm I don't want to show you why to be careful. Just let me put it this way. There's idiot enemies that they thought would be smart to let them be able to take my baby. By me running through that bush. Alright, two more flowers, six more coins. Alright. Be careful. Jump over that one. That. Ignore Lakitu, because Lakitu is a piece of shit. Right, one more point there, don't see this one here. But we check it anyway. One up right there. Oh my god, we're missing. Where are we missing three red coins? There's one. Where are we missing two red coins? No. All right, look. I'll get mad about this later. But right now, I need to figure out where these two red coins I'm missing are. Missing two red coins. What the hell? Is there something else on this? Is this what I was thinking of? I don't know. I don't think so. I'm, this might have been what I was thinking of. Got a one up. Once again, still missing two. Alright, so this begs a question, where are the two red coins I'm missing? Okay, we're playing the backtrack game now, which is a really fun game to play. Because I'm missing two red coins and I'm irritated. 
this kid is why I hate this level. There's one. There's the other. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You little shit. Not baby Mario, but fucking Toady. Sorry, I'm getting irritated now. No! 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 Well, I'm not gonna do it. But I know where the coins I missed are. So that's the important part. So we're gonna go and grab these coins that I missed real quick. I can't believe I missed those were coins back there. The fact that I hit the gold ring too. Where's the other red coin guy? Why well, do I only want to appear? <sighs> Don't do this to me, game. 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 Okay. I despawned him by accident. Or I get... Okay. So this game does have a slight problem. Which is the biggest issue with the game. The game has so much stuff packed into it. That... Okay. So, I'm gonna talk in a moment. So when you kill Lakitu, we can steal his cloud. Oh, cool star things in, hidden in there. So his cloud only lasts but so long, but it's still a cool thing that we can actually steal his cloud if we kill Lakitu but leave the cloud. Which isn't actually that hard to do, it's just not something I go out of my way to try to do. Shouldn't have hit that, just in case we needed it. Shouldn't have hit that just in case we needed it. Okay, I missed two right coins again. There's one. Where's the other one? No, 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 no! Son of a. Oh, I dodged. Where am I see other red coin? One eternity later. <laughs> We're a little bit peeved, but you know what? We found the red coins, which is the important part. This took me a 
So I'm probably gonna edit most of this out. But I think this is a good 20 to 15 to 20 minutes of me just getting annoyed. Cause <laughs> So what had happened was the game despawned one of two things happened. One, one of the red shy guys that came in carrying one of the red coins never spawned in because there are too many things on screen or he spawned in off screen so I never saw him and wasn't rushing through so I never got the chance to kill him and get the right coin from him either way Jesus fuck this level One hundred. Okay, we're done. We're done. We're done. I'm done with this level. Fuck if I get a fucking stupid... I get a bonus game. Yeah. That's so annoying. <sighs> like... I'm so frustrated right now, you have no idea. One up chance. We get to play a slot machine. I hate this game. The game sucks. <sighs> Alright. See you guys next time.